Hero and Hero Player is a foundry solution to review, conform and shop management. Hero is the conform tool that allows you to import and export media, send shots out to VFX artists via export structures and review the work in a centralised location whilst iterating through versions. Hero Player is a lightweight review tool that allows artists to see the shots they are working on in context of an edit. Hero Player also works as a review tool for flipbooking shots, creating edits and asset library management. With our 1.7 release, Hero and Hero Player's editing functionality has really come of age and gives artists and editors a more familiar way to create and tweak edits. With the amount of features just for the improvements to the editorial tools alone, it really deserves its own video, so please see the editorial video for a more in-depth review. But for now, here's a quick overview of all the new improvements for Hero and Hero Player 1.7. For Hero and Hero Player 1.7, we have redesigned the editing workspace to a two-up viewer layout. This allows you to use three-point source record editing to quickly and easily audition and mark potential material and then insert or overwrite into the timeline. This will be familiar to anyone who's used an editorial package. Once your edit is laid out, the brand new modal editorial tools allow you to quickly and precisely refine your edit as desired. When coupled with Hero and Hero Player's unique multi-tool, it allows you a wide or as precise a level of control as you need for the task at hand. Both the modal and multi-tools now offer ripple trimming functionality for concise edit adjustment which will again be familiar to editors. The source record three-point editing and the modal editorial tools are accessible via both the mouse and the keyboard. This allows precise control when you need it. The keyboard can now be used to drive playhead shuttling via extended JKL keys. We can select clip and edit points as well as nudging both horizontally and vertically which is great for the keyboard junkies amongst us. For the more mouse or tablet centric user, you haven't been left out. We also now have an in-viewer jog and shuttle control which allows you to quickly and easily locate the frames you are interested in. For more in-depth look at the editorial functionality, please see the editorial video for Hero and Hero Player 1.7. For Hero and Hero Player 1.7, we've completely rewritten and optimised our viewer rendering pipeline for better playback performance and to cope with more demanding material on lower end hardware. Alongside that, we've made a number of tweaks including to the JPEG reader to help speed up decode performance. Combined in our internal tests, we've seen speed ups of up to 250% max frames per second achievable from memory cache playback when compared to 1.6 on the very same hardware. We've also improved control over Hero and Hero Player's management of its internal memory caches and decoding. By default, it now pauses decoding when the app is sent into the background so your foreground application maintains priority. Optionally, we can additionally dump its cache at the same time so as to free up memory for the foreground process, which can be great for running alongside other intensive high performance software. Of course, you can also force both cache dumping and decode pausing manually. Audio is an important part of the conforming process and with 1.7 we have now even greater control. Now we can play back and export stereo files on separate tracks and Great specify times. whether we want left, right or mono per track. Great times. Also we have added the audio latency option in the viewer for playback which allows you to offset audio to match the picture on a variety of hardware to make sure they are perfectly aligned. A very Great useful times. feature for fixing audio issues in review. Exporting shots is a vital part of the Hero workflow and in 1.7 we have improved this process. We can now filter exports not only by tracks but by tags. This means we can export only approved tags for instance which can be a real time and workflow saver. In 1.7 we can now collate tracks either via timings or naming as opposed to 1.6 which collated both. So if you have multiple plates for one shot we can stack those on top of each other and export all those plates to use in Nuke. Our other option is via naming convention per shot, which allows us to combine multiple events on your EDL into a single shot in Nuke, which can be very handy for example when dealing with read times cut into separate parts. On top of this, if you're working with a custom open colour IO config, for example related to ACES, then Hero 1.7 is now able to create OCIO colour space nodes in your exported Nuke scripts to apply matching conversions for you. This can be a real time saver as if you're working outside of Nuke's default colour management it currently requires you to create all the supporting nodes manually and on top of that it makes for consistency between all of the Foundry's OCIO enabled applications. Speaking of colour management, we further improved our handling of raw material linearization. Previously, we read in the result of the SDK as if it were linear. In 1.7 we now linearise the resultant SDK data for consistency with other material. This has also been implemented in the concurrent version of Nuke, allowing matching exports to be generated. 
On top of all this, there's heaps of smaller tweaks and fixes, including the ability to rename shots according to keywords, renaming shots when using copy cuts to match the source shots, more new consistent hotkeys, duration widgets that show the distance between in and out marks when set, cleaner more concise context menus and loads more. For the developers and pipeline engineers amongst us, there's invisible tags to aid in asset management and production tracking integrations, new callbacks, a Python API for footage localization and extensive new documentation. Check out the release notes for full information on everything new and watch the companion editorial video for a full breakdown on the new editorial specific functionality. As you can see, 1.7 is another strong release of Hero and Hero Player, the Foundry shop management conforming and reviewing tool for VFX.